This is Water Elemental. And this is What Do. And welcome back to Danganronpa. Hello there. Goodbye, despair. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, no, I actually Goodbye. Yeah, we actually do need to talk to this fine gentleman. <laughs> Hold on, did you just see that friend thing from Salem? <laughs> it said he's playing Dusty Pickles Express. <laughs> That's, that's a game? We're doing that next. No, that's serious? that's my nickname at work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll go into that after we talk to this gentleman. Oh, well, hello there. Uh, I think you're this guy. Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. Why are you blushing? Because he's he's the guy sooner of it. Okay. This guy is already in a crappy mood. You? What are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? Relax, Fuji <laughs> Fuyuhiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? What? Introduce your ourselves? Okay. <laughs> See, you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? <laughs> Baka. <laughs> <laughs> Baka. It's, it's not like I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Oh man, this guy's voice sounds familiar. Um. Oh man, I've heard him recently too. We'll have plenty of time to get used to it. Ultimate Yakuza. Yaku you were you were actually right on this one because I think you were saying that he was um, either a lawyer or a crime lord. I think it, it was something to do with an outlaw. We'll have to go back and I'll and put see it in later. the text here. Go back. Yeah, so we'll see if we see if you were right. Even though he's got a baby face, he's incredibly rude. Uh, he, that's why he has the uh, little blushes because he's got a baby face. Oh. Fuyuhiko is a high school student and heir to the Kazuru Kuzu, <laughs> clan. Oh boy. Eh? The Kazuru clan? Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kazuru clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. How admirable. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. Wouldn't his father technically be the ultimate Yakuza? Yeah, I... Well, because he's he's the most experienced in high school that qualifies him. That would, that's why I wish they were still using the, the super high school level blank right. for it. Because in that case, it would make sense that he's not the ultimate y y uh, Yakuza. He's the super high school level Yakuza. The, the, the heir to the Yakuza clan? And it's the Kuzuryu clan? No less? Actually. By the way... Mentioning his baby face around him is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. <laughs> He's Dragon just Rovers. fucking with us now. <laughs> Usually I have to censor that, but he knows he, what he's doing. <laughs> uh, but this is the part when he opens up the following games in order. Uh, honey Pop. Um, <laughs> lotion Simulator. Yes, Lotion. And Shower With Your Dad Simulator. In that order. All right. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. That was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. Uh, N N Nagato, you you're like my savior or something. <laughs> you're just exaggerating. Uh, guess not. So hey, we bastard. bone that, right? Hey, bastards. If we're done here, how about you dumbasses make it like a tree and fuck off? <laughs> <laughs> just fuck off. I do love that. Huh? Not make like a tree and leave. What? what? Didn't I already tell you bastards I'm not here to make friends? Huh? What? Didn't I tell you bastards I'm not here to make friends? Or <laughs> Fuck off. Alright. Make uh. like a tree and fuck off. Hello. We're short. There's more cameras. TV. Paper cutouts of cameras and TVs. Oh, oh, restaurant. I'm totally lost. Like, I hate when they just open the world so early. Well, here's... I'll tell you this. Um, when we were running around, we had that really bad animation we were running around. That's basically Amazing. a trail to all the different little hubs. This is one of the hubs. Okay. There's only, like, three areas we can actually go into here. There's that main area, and I guess there's the little, like, houses. Oh, no. It's, like, um, stuck on auto or something. Oh, weird. Well, hold on just a second. Yeah. Um, there's the restaurant and there's a place downstairs here. Gotcha. And then there's the warehouse next door. But there's just a few areas here we won't get lost. Uh, how do I Open. go back? Oh. Transcript. Okay. So this is the hotel restaurant. Oh, 
It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet here. It, it kind of has this tropical, open country feeling. Open, even though we're stuck on this island? Are we really stuck here? <laughs> Bless his soul. Bless his soul. <laughs> what else could it be? Ellipses. Sorry. Oh, well. Let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. How convenient. Oh, I, I'm both of these. <laughs> ho ho, that's right. I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Wait, excuse me? I'm having a hard time. Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Hey, excuse me. Um, poison, I see. Hey, you guys have a moment? Whoa. Denied. Denied? Good day. Hello, it is nice to meet you. H hello, my name is Hajima Hin Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Hello there. Why, hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. Oh my and god, it's um. I'm totally not French, but ignore that. Uh, it's. Oh, what's his name? The Pillsbury Doughboy? No, from Fairy Tale. I have not watched Fairy Tale, so I wouldn't know. Could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it. Huh? I just listened to three books on Audible. Uh, the Finn Fancy Necromancy series narrated by him. It's fantastic. And I, I just like, I'm like, wait, hold on. I know this one. <laughs> okay. Well, but, Ultimate Cook, you got that one spot on. Well, well yeah, it's not <laughs> hard. <laughs> the little hat gives it away. It's the ascot. But nose. Mm hmm. I hope we get along well. I am sorry. Oh, that reminds me. I have not properly introduced myself either. I am terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My Which... name is Sonia Nevermind. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia. That's not her name. She's like, Sonia. Uh, Nevermind. Princess. Ultimate Princess. I don't remember what you said for that one. Was it Diplomat? I think I said Diplomat or something. That's close enough. I am a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novoselic. Is I'm, that a real, real place? I don't think so. I haven't heard of it. Hmm. But then as soon as we air this, the YouTube comments will be sure to correct us and say, I'm from Novoselic. How dare you? Unsubscribe. I'm your Kill number yourselves. one fan in Nova <laughs> <laughs> I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. S same here. I hope we get along too. Which porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like a field of wheat. Oh, and she also smells like bath salts. <laughs> it's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at her forever, naked. <laughs> One of the various girls that are optional. Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the ultimate princess, which means she's actual royalty. The ultimate princess? Again with bloodline stuff. It's weird. Well, they even with the bloodline, they still had to earn uh, earn their ultimate where they're status. at. Yeah. Normally, I'd be surprised to hear that, but it's not just her beauty. She's so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Is this a canon waifu? Who knows? <laughs> um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Huh? What, what are you happy about? I... In my home country, I, I did not have a single friend my age whose standing in society matched my own. So to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. Well, technically, I'm not... Royalty, I'm a chieftain of the living totem tribe. <laughs> Bring it back! Well, it works. I shall extol your virtues. Um. Surprise! It extol my virtues? Thanks? What the? I suddenly feel the urge to drop on one knee and bow. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, what does extol mean? I gotta know. Hmm. Oh, I thought it meant something like banish your honor. 
or something weird. Uh, I didn't know, so it was a good thing to ask. Well, you three, am I being left out on, <laughs> left off the menu or something? No, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Terror Terror, it's not like you to check out the restaurant first. It's so like you to check out the restaurant first. As the ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> I would be lying if I said he wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully, yes, I like it. Yes, Though I like the big city flavor of my hometown, a country atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> hey, are you? Refined, culture, guilty as charged. No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What is there to be worried about? Actually, I'm very happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick. I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pecco is actually a bit of a freak if you catch my meaning. What do you think? What? She's probably wearing a black thong too. What are your thoughts on that? Now, shall we discuss this somewhere flightedly? Come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> Sorry, his face. Midget boner. No thanks. I think he's the top. Far top. He's the tiniest, so that means he... He's the tiniest, and we want him as far away from us as possible. Right. Good plan. Now. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but I feel like Miss Sonia over there has a good chance of putting out. You see, everyone knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? Understand. For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Is that... why is he talking about poison earlier? Um... Pardon me, what are you talking about? <laughs> we'll discuss this later. I better not see you try that again. Anyway, when I fantasize about this stuff like that, I can't help but look forward about living on this island. <laughs> when it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. <laughs> this guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Midget boner. Alright, so we got the Seventh Island sign. Um, no, that just took us uh, oh. outside. Which, um, we have a couple of options. Go back in there, and then we'll go out the other way we could have came in. I think it's try or why that brings up the, the scan menu too. <laughs> it's the diamond button. The diamond remember? button. Okay. So we want to go it. down the stairs. Yep. We don't need to worry about camping out if we're staying in this hotel. It might be a good idea for you to explore a bit. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> how could this guy be so calm right now? Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? No, he's just best boy. What else do you want? So we're like, we want to go down those stairs. So we need to rotate the camera a bit. Or we can... Oh, it looks like we can just do it there. Oh, bumpers rotate camera. Stairs. Zoom. Fade to black. Hotel lobby. Ooh, that looks and fun. And we will find another person you were right on. Well... I'm glad. One of the people you were right on, we'll see which one it was. Yeah, even the side of this... Even, even the inside of this place looks grand, too. If this is if this was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are you the only one? He, uh, why are we the only ones in this hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island. It can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept, and it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? Plot holes. Foosball. Ooh. Well, if only. Games. Video game. This place is, even has an arcade machine. <laughs> Isn't it great? This sure is a grand hotel. It's like we're in at a hot spring dis district or something. And then we got. I'm gonna go with her. And I think. I think this is you, but I'm not sure. State your business. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. Is that all right with you? An introduction. Understood. I don't mind. I am Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. 
My name is Peko Pekoyama. It is nice to meet you too. We got Kendo. Close? Yeah. We got Teru Teru, we got Peko Peko. All the onomatopoeia names. This dignified looking woman is known as the ultimate swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Pekoyama could be so skilled with a blade. I've heard she's a kendo master and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Even with their Peko Pekos? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. Almost like she stole the, uh, the Shinga thing from Naruto. Her <laughs> Sharingan. Yeah, she totally has it. It's the red eye and has that little loop there, too. Damn, son. If what this rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. Correction. Um, <laughs> it's your boy! Goose. Um, God, I totally forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> Just move on. <laughs> It is necessary for men and women who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. Baka, I would prefer not to kill anyone with my blade. Oh my god, have you ever seen that video of the, the guy that's standing in front of the camera? He's like, I will put down my sword. I'm going to put down my sword. And oh, as he's yes. putting it down, and then he's like, Ha ha! I have another fucking sword! <laughs> I'm putting up that in the corner. It's so good. God, it sounds familiar. I don't remember a lot about it, though. Oh, it's so good. But our resident Yandere, bless her soul. Kill? Isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a misamine blow can be fatal. Well... well an aimed blow can be fatal too. I'll keep that in mind. I actually have a cut on my lip because of a kendo blade. Ah, so you know from personal experience that blade she'll fuck you up. Fucking hurt. All right. And this is gonna be the trap. Well, oh, look at Galaga. Hold on. Look at that chest. Does that look like a trap to you? Hmm. Maybe. We're, our priorities know. are different. I went for the video game thing. You went right for the top tops. <laughs> well, to be fair, you know what? I'm not even going to defend it. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically how it works. There's some pretty girl playing an arcade game. She looks completely absorbed by it. Like Tron? Hajime. Hajime, you haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Hey, baby. You know how to play Mario? <laughs> um, excuse me, uh, I'd like to introduce myself. Ellipses. Hey, hey Chiaki! I don't remember. Oh, you is know this his voice? Was this ASMR? Was it ASMR? I don't think she talked. No, you're right, she didn't talk at all. Uh, I think I'm gonna channel D.Va. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> I must have been a little too focused on my game. Nerf this! <laughs> No, Please she's and thank you. Do, but she's she seems like soft and quiet. Yeah, I say, I say she's the ASMR. Let's do it. Is she the ASMR? I thought the. Uh... Oh yeah, no. Here's nurse the nurse girl was just super quiet. She was yeah. like this. That's what she was. You made ASMR the uh, the girl with the crazy hair and the white shirt with uh, the low cut. Oh, um, ultimate bozo. Well, you said that she's ultimate um, supermodel, and I, we, I, don't I think will we tell you. Yeah, we yet. haven't been introduced to her yet. Let me sell, let me just tell you right now, that is absolutely not right. <laughs> By any stretch of the imagination, no way in hell. And you will find out shortly All when right. we get there. All so right. let's use let's use ASMR here. All right. A little. Are you sure about that? Let's see. Oh, introductions. Got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. Filthy casual. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Ultimate gamer. She has huge Tracks polygons. <laughs> Um, Hajima Hinata, nice to meet you too. Yep. 
Yeah, <laughs> totally. You can just hear my chair just like <laughs> lean in. It seems like this conversation's going rather slow. Well, she is gaming right now. Well, it seems more like I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't even talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. I love you. <laughs> Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I got used to them, I could usually talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. Maybe... She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this? Well, just, I do it whenever I'm sad. Yeah. Or really, whenever, period. Oh, I bet that's photoshopped into many images that... <laughs> As is that. Alright. Anything else we want to worry about here? TV? We have... Camera, more, games. More arcade games. TVs, cameras. I guess we're... Um... Um, I would say outside so you can see the other entrance to this area. All right. Oh, turn around. Okay. So right. that's to get to that main lobby, and then the stairs were to get to the restaurant, but right. you can just go to the restaurant through there. So cool. that building is the restaurant and the reception. Gotcha. And we have... Let's check something real quick. Can we go on the warehouse, the big, uh, the big wooden building on the left-hand side? Okay. I don't know if we can, but if not, we'll be able to go there shortly. Spoilers. Butterflies. Excuse me. Oh. Ah, uh, no, no, no! This building is in the middle of the Revelation Project, so you cannot go inside. It's dangerous, you know. Showing up out of nowhere is even more dangerous. <laughs> All right, we'll just go there after renovations. All right. Mukra. <laughs> Is that like a Pokemon? That's, I actually don't know that game. Well, now we'll have to look this up. <gasps> oh, I can run. That's B. Good. All right. Back to best animations ever. Let's check it out. Oh, I should probably check on... Uh... Oh, your Tamagotchi? Yeah. How do I get to that? Oh, oh. Food. numerous poopoos. Oh no, and the despair. We've got one despair. Already? We haven't even gone very far. Um, I have no idea how this works. All I know is just clean up the poop. Just clean up the poop and run around. All right, and then I think you can still use the run button out here, yeah. And then let's see, next up is... Cows? Farmville. You think the ultimate breeder would be with the cows? No. Well, actually, yeah, he should, but two can. Gundam follows no rules. This looks like a ranch, though there aren't many animals around. Right? Oh, you found it out! You again? Seriously, how are you keep appearing from? I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear wherever on the island. System. Interesting. It's all thanks to this handy Danic magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Is she talking about the toy she's holding? Hmm. Hmm. Still, I'm quite troubled. A ranch without a moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. I'm pretty sure we saw the cows, but okay. Player, oh. You might want to rephrase that. Just leave it to me, and I handy dandy magic stick. You ready for this? Turn into a So yeah, that just happened. Magical powers activate. Haram, a huge success. What was all that just now? A, a chicken changed into a, a, a cow? That's not it. Nah, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? No. Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change to a cow. 
messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know. <laughs> so that's ooh, we've got two. We have. Oh, she's wow. hiding behind the post. <laughs> and then just ta da! Yeah, first we'll go. Where's my cursor? Uh, it's on the far left side. Oh. Hello. We'll go with uh. We'll just moon moon hair. Moon moon hair. What is this kid doing? She's sitting down, <laughs> damn it, Bobby, that boy ain't right. <laughs> She's sitting down and she keeps These pressing are her fascinating fingers. games. He's like listening for us. <laughs> uh, um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is uh, Brad, Bradley Cooper. You were actually right on that. You said that she was a dancer. There she was the ultimate dancer. So, well played. Another one, another one down. She hasn't stopped pressing her finger into the floor. Seriously, what is she doing? And her appearance and voice is so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Hiyoki's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, fans are mostly men. A certain... <laughs> a certain kind of men. It's probably because she looks so young. <laughs> Her fans probably all have the same niche or something. Please, please. please don't follow that up with my, uh... <laughs> hey, what exactly are you doing? I'm squishing! And they already said that she's doing this with her finger, so this is, uh... Is she just questionable territory? Squishing what? Mr. Ant, duh. Surprise, bitch! Mr. Ant, of course. I'm squishing a lot of Mr. Ants. Go again. <laughs> if you squish their tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Hey, you! Wanna do it together? Hell no! So... Oh, okay. Little Miss Satan over here. <laughs> you wuss. This kid, her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Or her voice. <laughs> and finally... So, Little Miss Unexpected Bitch Asshole. And... ASMR? <laughs> hey! You know what? You get this one. Okay. Hey! Who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajima Hanada. Radical, gotcha. Who's this other dude? What? Huh? Haven't we already met? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm pretty much stuck at remembering names, so I met so many interesting characters today. <laughs> I'm Nagato Kameda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. I don't think either of us could do that voice. Yeah, no, nah, not really. Ultimate Gymnast. Ultimate gymnast. So, but not, wasn't there a gymnast in the first well, game? No, that was a swimmer. Oh. Well, that was um the other the other girl. Um, I guess don't want to spoil too much, but brown hair. She wore the hoodie, the pink hoodie, the whole yep. time. Um, she was the swimmer, not a gymnast. Gotcha. Akane is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all all around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest, in, interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performance must be amazing to see. My problem with a gymnast is no way in hell would a gymnast have <laughs> that big of a chest. Like, no, like you watch the Olympics, no one is like mm. that hung unless they're like taped up to the point where she has aerodynamic abilities mm -hmm. because she does one backflip and then the kunk. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be murder on the back in most of the routines, but what are you going to do? Yeah. Anime! I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean... 
She's got the physique of an Olympic yeah. athlete. Sure, we'll call not. it that. What? Huh? Don't tell me you. Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? Yes, that's why you're with me. <laughs> you're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Well, she clearly doesn't care. Toucan. Come here, Toucan. Toucan? You Toucan. Can. Hey, tropical bird. That's what I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> He's just I need him is, so much. I am <laughs> fascinated by how he's able to do that. But he's I'll just got like a it. file or an EXE he's using and he's renaming it. Ah, ingenious. Poop poop. I'd still play that game though. Water Elemental VR. You're just drowning the whole time <laughs> with a face going, This is Water Elemental. This is water elemental. Exactly. Have I told you about the lemons? <laughs> God bless the lemons. Still wondering. All right, let's check out what, where we can go to next. Bridge to nowhere. And it looks like Hajime. Hajime. If it looks like it, it looks like if we go across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is, is it, it safe? <laughs> is it secret? Is it safe? <laughs> That's what we're going there to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will you do? Be super unsafe with you. Oh, um, let's, hold on, let's go back to that first island. Because I want to make sure that we hit all the locations first. I think we did, um, because I think to the right is going to be the beach. Yeah. Um, beach. yeah, so then, yep, we've hit everything. So now we can go to the next island. So there's a first hub, so we'll try to remember that the first hub has the beach, the airport, the supermarket, um, the hotel, there's a map. and the farm. It just helps to have a mental map as well. Alrighty. Ooh, and more bridges. Ooh, can't do that bridge. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. It looks like there's another island on the other side of the bridge, but it seems we can't cross it. Yeah, it seems to be the case. Oh, I know what's going on now. Um, if you haven't played Dagnaropa 1 and you don't want any spoilers, uh, skip ahead to this time code. Three, two, one. Is this tied to when someone is murdered, they open up more sections of the island? Um, I remember that as things progress, we are able to get to mo go to more areas of the island, and it unlocks more of the mystery that has befallen us. All right, but, so that was number one, that's number three. There's Jabberwocky Park, uh, but I'm just seeing mm -hmm. if these are all just gated areas. Okay. And I'm, pr I'm trying to remember what's open. Four. Okay, so, so then we're going to be back to one after this, I think. Oh no, right. Completely inconspicuous uh, rock. mountain rock. Okay. Unimportant. You can ignore that. <laughs> ignore <laughs> me! Alright, so I think the last thing we need to do is go to Jabberwock Park. I'm going to check on this. I think we m might be able to fast travel to Wha it. What? It's a poopy Tamagotchi. I'm already at three to spare. I don't know if it like goes away or something. I forget. These are good questions. I literally checked it before I came over here and I must have taken a lot of steps or something because... Worst case scenario, we'll just, you know, let her die. But that's probably gonna screw our endings over. Eh, could be worse. Baka. 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 All right. There he is, the main man. The, the one voice <laughs> I do not like doing. The one voice you don't like doing, but you love him so much. <laughs> Fat <laughs> Colonel Sanders. <laughs> exactly. A park surrounded by the ocean. Hmm. It feels so nice. Such a laid back attitude. Why haven't I not gotten used to it at this point? This is a really quirk situation. A normal dude like me with a guy that's super lucky. 
I don't know how I'm gonna handle it. We're just two scamps. Am I right? Right. 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 But if you weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy time too. If be the key word. We'll skip the if, let's do it. How's the introductions going? I'd like to inform you about another feature. You may already know this, but you have a level assigned to you. It's displayed on the top right corner of your screen. Your level increases by performing various actions such as walking, examining, taking, talking to others. Every time you level up, you'll become stronger than you were before. Snapping nets will be a breeze. Eh, yeah, close enough. The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try to your hardest to level up often. So I don't know if, if press start real quick. Let's see if we can even get to. Oh, I mean get to your menu. Um, let's see if we can get to. Yeah, we can't even get to skills real uh, yet. So no need, no big deal. Again? No, not yet. That's a cool statue. It's a really cool statue. It's a bronze statue of various animals. Plus, it's pretty huge. <laughs> Getting huge, huge, amazing. What a grand statue! Wow! 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 I'm Owen Wilson. Wow! wow. Yeah, it's grand, but it's not. But isn't it also kind of creepy. What? You think so? I think it looks splendid. I mean, look at it. It probably symbolizes the whole island. Because I mean, wow! <laughs> Sorry, wow. I don't know why I'm bashing on Owen Wilson. <laughs> apparently. Well, let's count how many things there are. We got the tiger, we got the snake, snake we have the horse, the we got man. the dude. There was a bird on Hawk. top or something. Yeah, so there were five, and it looks like there were five islands to get to. I don't know. This island symbol, huh? Interesting, interesting. Six trident. Trident symbol. <laughs> oh, right, right. Well, that doesn't add up at all. TV. It's just like, not a blank screen. It doesn't look like a normal tail. It's just like, what the heck is that? I hope I don't have to, like, for experience, I have to look at every single TV. Uh, that would have been a good thing for me to look up before we started this, but I didn't, so. <sighs> uh, I need to yawn before I... All right, here we go. <clears throat> Do those vocal ex exercises. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to Bad say that. Joke. Ah, Byakua. Byakuya. Have time for a small introduction? Well, I say, the slaves ain't gonna stop themselves. Introduction? In <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Come on, Ajime. Oh, uh, hello. My name is Hajima Hinata. My name is Byakuya Togami. Uh, Pause for a second. I read the wrong one. Ultimate Affluent Prodigy. What does that mean? Well, that name should be familiar to you, my friend. You put on some pounds before, after the first one. That's the guy from the first game? He's got the same name. He's the Ultimate Affluent Prodigy. He Surprise, motherfucker. Wait. They, they did some cool stuff where they're like, okay. Well, from the first game, people didn't like this character, so we made him fat and threw him back in. Well, people really like this uh, this nerd character, so we made him a girl and we threw him back in. For the fans! Wait, you just said that someone turned into a girl and threw him back in. No. Because people liked in the first game? Well, I suppose like, it's not a trap. And in the first game, that wasn't the person's name. Okay. Do you remember what Hold on. that character looks like? I gotta look now. Look, look at what the what the nerd character looks like. And then you'll be like, wow, they reused that design. Well, they reused that design because people like that character a lot. So, we have our old friend here. He's uh, had a rough time, though. It is him! What the fuck happened to him? <laughs> oh my god! Now, now look up nerd. Look up nerd, uh, nerd girl. Or nerd trap. Well, I mean, like, uh, in the game. Yep. Yeah. So they're like, well, everybody likes your hero, so let's, uh, let's 
throw another character in, make him look the exact same, make it a girl, and name her Chiaki. You guys like these characters, right? Wow. Fan service. I knew something was up with him. But mm -hmm. I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. Uh, he's still... He's still I, an asshole. I, I can't tell if this guy is thumbing his nose at me. Well... Well, I suppose that's Byakuya for you. What do you mean? Actually, that guy's particularly special, even by ultimate standards. <laughs> he has to wear a helmet. <laughs> He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations, and his net worth is, well, enormous. But a cheat. How admirable. As well as him. He's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent prodigy. Progeny? Wow, I didn't know that's a word. He's the epitome of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. For a Seto Kaiba. <laughs> you there. Hajima, was it? Eh? Uh -huh. Tell me, why did Hope Speak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Um, th that's the thing, is I honestly can't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently, he lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. Hmm, how foolish. Um, yes. I don't believe we finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand here? Yes, Move along. That's the only thing you skinny type are good at, it seems. <laughs> Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. His bill and the overwhelming aura is refined just pushes people away. Is that what it means to be an ultimate affluent progeny? Yeah. Progeny? <laughs> That's that's so weird. It should be proge uh, prodigy. I swear it should be prodigy. But uh, maybe I just don't get it. Let's look really quick on the Googles. Sure. If uh, if it is a word, then we'll just say that I learned something new today. So. I do like the noise that they chose. Ding dong, bing bong. Yeah. Progeny. No, uh, Super High School Level Air was the original. Okay. But anyways, uh, wrote a little bit long on this episode, so we'll see you next time when we find out what that ding dong bing bong is. See ding. you then. Bong. Bing. Dong.